Hi guys. Now, I'm going to teach you about a ticker tape experiment which is conducted in your school laboratory, hopefully. Now, what we will do is we will take the ticker tape that you have and we will over here cut it in strips, okay? And normally each strip over here has an equal number of ticks. It depends on your school over here whether are they going to do it over here for 10 ticks or 8 ticks or you know 12 ticks it depends on your school now what I want to explain to you over here is let's just see after you have cut yours to equally about let's just say I'm giving you each cut over here contains 10 dots okay now I'm gonna draw the 10 dots for you one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay see mine has 10 dots and it's a graph of length okay which is in centimeters versus time okay which is in seconds now if let's just say I have cut over here my ticker tape to lengths of 10 dots and what I see is my graph over here is going down like this okay now what you will see is all your other strips must over here have also 10 dots 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay now as I said again, each of these strips must have over here 10 dots as how I've set it. Now, what happens if your graph over here is moving down like this? This over here, students, is what we call a deceleration graph. Okay? Now, let's just say you have a graph that looks like this. Okay, now this is over here what you call an acceleration graph. Okay, and if you have a graph that looks like this, okay, this is what you call a constant. Or sometimes they also use the word uniform velocity graph okay so in your school laboratory these are the three possible graphs over here that you will plot after the ticker tape uh, and ticker timer experiment now what I'm going to do is because this question is quite important for SPM I'm going to teach you how to calculate based on this graph Now, let's just say in your exam, given to you over here a graph, length in centimeters and time in seconds. Now, I'm telling you that the frequency of the ticker tape, sorry, of the ticker timer is 50 hertz. Now, this is the frequency of the ticker timer. And each strip over here has 10 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten now again i'm going to show you one two three four five six seven eight nine ten as you can see that i'm mentioning that each strip over here has ten dots now we are going to give length for each of this strip let's just say it starts over here from 20 centimeters 
and then over here it goes to 18 centimeters and then it goes to 16 centimeters and then it goes over here to 14 centimeters now the common questions that are asked in the exam is number one what is the initial velocity okay B over here what is the final velocity and C over here what is the deceleration okay now what we are going to do first is we are going to calculate the time between two dots okay now 1 over frequency gives you the time period all right now so the time period over here 4 between two dots will be 1 over 50 hertz which will be given to you as 0 0.02 seconds all right now as you can see we will have how many intervals 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, in each of my ticket tapes, I will have 9 intervals. So, if I'm asking you, what is the time for each 10 dots that I have over here? You will tell me 0. 0 0.02 times your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times your 9 intervals. Now, and if you take over here 0 0.02 times 9, you will obtain 0 0.18 seconds. Okay, guys. Now, normally if you look at your Bukurujukan and so on, you will normally have 11 dots. But I'm giving you 9. Uh, I'm giving you 10 dots. It's because I want to show you a little bit of a difference. Okay. Now, what happens over here is, to find the initial velocity, you know that the velocity formula will be displacement over time. Now, your displacement over here is given to you as 20 centimeters. Okay. And over here, your time, as I said to you, your time over here for this one strip that you have with 10 dots and 9 intervals. Eh? 9 intervals. You must count how many intervals you have. You divide 0 0.18. Now, if you take 20 and you, you divide by 0 0.18, you will obtain 111.11 centimeters Per second okay now correctable to two decimal points next if you're cal calculating over here this is your initial velocity eh, v dot and if you're calculating your final velocity displacement over time your displacement over here given to you 14 centimeters and your time over here 0 0.18 seconds 14 divide by 0 0.18 you will obtain over here 77.78 centimeters per second now you can actually see how easy it is to calculate your initial velocity and your final velocity just make sure that when you have the question in front of you for you to know what is the time taken for one strip count how many intervals do you have and then look at the first strip if for an example this will be initial velocity this will be final velocity okay so you take your 20 centimeters divide by the time taken over here for one strip all right and then over here this is your final velocity that 14 centimeters divided by the time taken over here to calculate for one strip now so you've already got your initial velocity you've already got your final velocity next is the deceleration 
Now, to calculate deceleration, okay, you have to understand, all right, over here, you have altogether one, two, three, four ticker tapes, okay? So what I'm going to calculate is I want to know the time interval over here between these four ticker tapes. Now, in order for you to do that, let me teach you a shortcut. Now, you just need to move it like this. One, two, three. Okay, guys, you have over here one, two, three. Three intervals. So what I will do is acceleration equals to final velocity minus initial velocity over time right and your final velocity is given to you as 77.78 okay minus your initial velocity given to you as 111.11 divided by this is where you have to be very careful the time calculated for acceleration is slightly different where you have to know how many intervals you have between the tapes that you have used. Now, in this case, I've used four tapes. So I'll have one, two, three intervals. All right, guys. Now you start from the first one. OK, and then you go to the last one. One, two, three. Now, what you're going to do is three intervals and each tape you will take about 0 0.18 seconds so 0 0.18 seconds so solving this 77.78 minus 111.11 okay negative 33.33 divided by 0 0.18 times 3 0 0.54 now the answer that you will obtain is negative 61.72 centimeters over s square now do not forget acceleration over here is s square now what happens over here is i will have my answer negative negative because this is a deceleration all right now, so you have already understood one example over here of how to calculate a deceleration graph. Alright, thank you.